two fillets of uh, sole, deep frying, okay? But I think I should have two for demonstration anyway. So I want to show you the basic starting off of the sole. All right? So, where's Sharina? Can you see Sharina over there? Can we put that out of the way? So, can everybody see? Yeah. Now, I'll be doing this again on Friday for the other class. Oh. Is that all right? So, you'll already know. <clears throat> so, this is your black sole, Dover sole, right? It's expensive, but it's beautiful. The reason why it's expensive is because it's really nice. So the fillets from this are beautiful. The bones from this mm -hmm. are even better for stock. making stock. All right. So when we go to fillet this, it's not difficult. So what we want to do is cut across the tail, but not through it. So just put the skin on the tail and wiggle your knife. So there's your. Is the skin. Another sign of freshness is that the skin is tight on the fish. If that just came off really easy, it's a couple of days old. Okay? So don't be afraid of it. So that's one side off. Turn it over. Your second side. You don't need salt, you don't need anything, you just need confidence. Okay. Alright, skin off. Was that, does that look easy, relatively? Yeah. Okay, that's because it is. So now, <clears throat> what I want to do is take the fillet off, turn it over, take the fillet off. So the standard chef way of doing this is to come up around the head, right down the middle. So there's a line there. This is what I'm trying to point out. There's a line there. So you follow that line. So the side of the head, follow that line. All right? So there's the line done. We then get our knife and try to angle it flat in under the fillet. I don't want you to do a sawing motion, I just want a smooth slicing motion, okay? Okay, so there's one fillet. Now, if If you're really playing it by the numbers and you're going to do what the book says, you just make a little incision across the back of it, break the sinew there. So why are we doing that? It's to stop it curling up, okay? So can I get a cook's knife? So you just make a little incision on the back. It's not the same, but I just thought this should do that with Just mainly these ones. And then you just, okay, that's it. So that's one, that's one fill of the sole. Delicious, okay. We then turn the fish upside down. And we start from the tail this time. Just right out to the edge. I don't want to cut into the row because I don't want the row all over my board. Into the 
any piece of blemish, take it off. And that's my second one. And again, just pat it out a little bit. That's the second one, okay? The next one, turn the fish over, right side up, down the middle, straight down that line. On the white side, which is the underneath side, are always a little bit smaller than the top fillets under the black skin, okay? Yep. Turn it upside down again. Oh yeah, please carry it. I'm, I'm just going to give it an hour and then I'll do it. So you could say to me, for example, well, how do I know where to go or where to stop or whatever? They're the fins. So where the body meets the fin is where the line is, okay? I know some of you might not have done this before or whatever, I accept that, that's no problem. But what I'm saying is that there are cues or clues as to what to do with it. Alright? Now. So finally when the KOS Yes. What about it? Oh yeah, yeah. You're yeah, asking me, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. So there's your four fillets of fish. Mm -hmm. Now, if we want to make stock, depending how much time you have, if you've got time, you can take the eyes out and the gills out, and you can use the head making the stock. Mm -hmm. If you haven't got time, you take the head off, you take any uh, remaining liver or dried blood and roe in this case as well. All right. So the roe comes off. Is the roe just fish blood? Yeah, yeah. Is the fish? Is the roe the fish blood? No, no eggs. eggs. Oh, eggs. So you see it there? Yeah. Yeah. So that, just take that out. Then we wash this, right? That's ready for your fish stock. 